Everywhere he went in those days as governor of Oyo State, you would hear chants of Oyato, Oyato, Gomina. Everywhere he went. For the benefit of those who do not speak Yoruba, they meant a governor with a difference. Of course, there were many things that Chief Christopher Adebayo Alawakala did differently in office from January 26, 2006 to December of that same year, and then again from May 2007 to May 2011. He significantly improved the revenue, the internally generated revenue of Oyo State from a small 300 million at that time to 1 billion Naira in eight months of becoming governor. He instituted impactful programs like the Homegrown Empowerment Scheme, known as the Community Link Advancement Program, CLAP. And he put in place a security architecture that guaranteed peace and security everywhere in Oyo State. Otumba Dr. Christopher Adebayo Alawakala practically demonstrated what is possible when you have creativity and compassion and when those are brought into governance. Since his transition in January, I've read and I've heard several glowing tributes to his memory. And the common refrain running through all of those tributes has been the attestation to his uncommon generosity. Many testify that his resources, many testify that his resources were available to all, to everyone who asked for help. And his home was a place where anyone could come for help. He was indeed a very simple and humane gentleman who practiced politics with an open mind. And just like many of his associates have testified, and the governor of Oyo State has just testified, and in the various articles and tributes Recalling his soldier, Otumba Alawakala was a politician who knew how to be a political opponent without being an enemy. He was always respectful of the views and beliefs of others. There is undoubtedly a lot more to be said about his generosity and, in material terms, those things that money cannot even buy. At a personal level, I can attest to his generosity with his time and counsel. I met him very many years ago through his nephew, my friend and brother, Professor Yelowo Yewo, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, currently Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice or your state, while we were lecturers at the University of Lagos. And at that time, he treated us, of course, as his younger brothers and was always ready to even give us a few, uh, a, just a few uh, dashes, or what you might call uh, a few enablements. And after, and after becoming a vice president, the vice presidential candidate of the APC in 2014, he, he was one of those I, that I immediately turned to for advice. I recall how, in a boisterous laughter, as he usually has, he said, ah, Professor, being a hardened veteran of the game himself, he must have been wondering if I had the stamina to cope. He went on to give me some unforgettable advice about what he thought I should do. Till he drew his last breath, Alawa Kala never ceased to avail me of his, of his quality counsel and words of encouragement by way of phone call or pep talk whenever we met. The good people of Ogumosho will miss the kindness, the compassion, and the love of this trusted and revered leader. With his broad smile and hearty laugh, and there is no doubt that this illustrious political actor from Ogumosho land struck, and by some extraordinary means, was able to sustain a deep connection with the people. Not surprisingly, in any political calculation, 
Everyone knew that wherever Alao Akala pitched his tent is where Ogbomosho will go. But his, but his political influence and reach went beyond party affiliation. And, multi, and what we see today, the multi-partisan colors of those of us who are gathered here today to bid him farewell, is evidence of the fact that he belonged to all. This is a solid reflection of his goodwill and the goodwill that he enjoyed across political divides, ethnicities, and faiths. Allah our color served his people and his country all through his life, from a career in the police force to the chairmanship of the Obumasho North Local Government to deputy governor and then governor of Oyo State. He put everything he had into public service. And this is why today, the people of Obumasho, or your state, and the nation gather to pay him his, the very highest respect of a well-regarded patriot and a faithful servant of the people. And so on behalf of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, the government and good people of Nigeria, I hereby express our sincere condolence to the Alawa Kala family. And we pray that the Almighty God will comfort and uphold you always and bless his memory forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Babawa Otumba, Dr. Christopher Adebayo Alawa Kala, Amadasio, Bogboa, Nola, Demag, Benin, and Warubo. Amen. God bless you all.